This is the first in our series of lectures on section 4.2 entitled Construction of Functions. In this lecture we're going to talk about the inverse of a function. Well, we've seen inverses before in the context of relations. If f is a function from a to b, then f inverse always exists as a relation. It's a relation from b to a, and it's given by just simply reversing the order of all of the ordered pairs in the original relation f. But in this lecture we want to view f inverse as being a function. And uh, the, question, the point is that it may not be a function. And so we want to talk about what prevents it from being a function and um, when can we know for certain that f inverse is a function. If a is the set consisting of the integers 1, 2, and 3, and b the integers 1, 2, 3, and 4, then this relation f is certainly a relation from a to b, but you'll notice that the domain, which is the set of first elements, is all of a, and you notice that the set of second elements never repeats, and so that means that each element of the domain corresponds to exactly one element of the range, and therefore this is really a function. So we have the right to write f is a function from a to b. So by reversing the order of all the ordered pairs, we get f inverse. That's a relation from b to a. But it's not a function from b to a. Can you see what goes wrong that um, prevents it from being a function from b to a? The problem is that the domain of this relation is 1, 3, 4, which isn't all of b. Okay, so it's, it's not a function from b to a because the domain of it isn't b. And the fancier way of expressing that is to say that f is not an onto function. Here's another example. This time we take f to be the function from this set to this set. It maps 1 to 1, 2 to 2, 3 to 3, and 4 to 1 then f inverse is obtained by reversing all of those ordered pairs. So that is a relation from this set to this set. But it isn't a function. So do you see what goes wrong? Why is it not a function? The problem is that the image of 1 is on the one hand 1 here, but it's also 4 here. And so it's not the case that 1 has a unique image, and therefore it's not a function. And the fancy way of expressing the problem is to say that f is not 1 to 1. So it turns out that those two issues of f either being not onto or not 1 to 1, that's exactly what prevents the inverse from being a function. So in fact, we have the following theorem that if f is a function from a to b, then f inverse, which is always a relation from, a, from b to a, will be a function if and only if f is onto and f is one to one. In the next section, I'll give you very, very precise definitions of what is meant by a function being onto and one to one. Um, but in any case, I think it's worthwhile at least stating the theorem at this point.